Hello again folks and welcome to Black Bear Outdoors with me Delta Sierra and the Rural Deputy. Today we've got a fun video for you. Uh, we're going to be looking at these two bad boys in front of us. Uh, they are probably two of the most uh, popular carry guns out there and we were asking ourselves the question well which one of the two is the best? Now hopefully we can, we can uh, show you a few things about them, go through some of the uh, features that they have and put them through their paces and help you make a more informed decision on which one works for you. So both of us own um, a version of each of the <coughs> guns at least. Uh, uh, I personally has used the uh, shield as a summer carry and uh, the, this particular X, uh, 43X belongs to Mrs. Bear. Um, so we'll throw it over to the deputy. Which, uh, which one do you carry normally? So normally my summer carry is the 43X. I've got an older version, no rail. Uh, I don't run an optic on that. I kept the iron sights just for real estate reasons. But that's that's been my kind of my preferred go-to the last several years. I've owned I've owned the nine mil, the shield and nine mil in the past. I absolutely loved it. And when I bought that, it was actually a complete teardown comparison of the 43 to the shield at the time, and the shield took it. Now I, I still own a shield in, in 45 because you know fat and slow does the job. Well, but it shoots good though. I mean that uh, particular one is very very smooth for a 45 even in that size, right? Right. All right, so uh, let's take a quick look at some of the features that they have. Uh, let's start off with the the Glock here. It's a Glock. The end. No, I'm joking. Uh, so, so what's nice is that this is a, a, a Gen 5, so it does have the uh, front and back serrations for those guys who like to uh, use those or even press check or stuff. And you mentioned uh, that you have a, a previous version of the 43X uh, that doesn't have the rail, but this one does have a rail, so you should be able to to fit a um, a light or a laser or whatever you like on it. It's got your standard Glock uh, grip angle. This one does have a little bit of a beaver tail, which is nice. It is MOS, so it's optic ready if you're an old slow guy like me. And your standard Glock trigger on it. Now, this one, am I correct me if I'm wrong, but this does come with a 10 round mag, doesn't it? From the factory. It does. Factory, it's a 10 round mag. You know, there are options through PSA to get a 15 round mag that, like you're running there, that are uh, polymer on the front side. Shield Arms makes a conversion kit, steel mag, steel mag catch, that can get you up to 15 rounds. So yeah, I mean, they're, they are upgradable for higher capacity to compete with things like the 365 and the Hellcat Pro and stuff like that. Right. Um, but you know, from the factory it's 10 rounds, so it is gonna cost you a little bit more uh, just for the mags and so on. Uh, the Shield Plus, on the other hand, does come from factory with a 13 round mag. I heard that there is some sort of 15 round thing, but it's gonna extend your, your, your grip quite a bit. Right. Uh, so just looking at the M&P here, um, it's only got the back serrations, got those fish scale ones as you uh, used to with the uh, M&Ps and kind of fairly useless ones in the front to be honest, but they look nice. The grip texture I quite like and it feels like it's got a little bit more real estate because of the, the kind of body shape of it for your support hand. I do like the new triggers that, that they've got on these. It's got the dingus trigger uh, rather than the, the hinge one it came out with originally. And this particular one has um, uh, manual safety as well. No rail though, so if you do want the light or a laser, you're gonna have to use one of, you mentioned those before, I think it's a... I believe it's like a TLR6 that will clamp onto the front of the trigger guard. Gives you kind of the light laser combo. You know, one other thing, the shield, from the factory, the irons are way nicer mm -hmm. versus the oh, yeah. factory Glock placeholders. <laughs> that's true though, I mean, everybody, as soon as you buy a Glock, change the sights, right? Yeah, that's, that's, it's, it's like buying a Harley. The first thing you're gonna do, change it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, and, and most people do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you look at the, the Shields uh, irons itself, they're, they're pretty decent, pretty hardcore ones. And they do even have a little bit of a ledge if you yep. need to kind of rack them off a belt or a boot or something. Uh, they're both kind of very convenient size to carry. Uh, they're both very thin profile uh, pistols. And it will very likely come down to personal preference because in the end, uh, I haven't had any issues with, uh, well, the, when I first got it, there were some factory issues and they fixed that. And uh, it's been running like a, like an absolute top ever since. And Mrs. Bear with her 43 hasn't had any issues. Have you had any issues with your 43X? I haven't had any issues with mine. And I um, will say a little bit delinquent on routine maintenance because it's a Glock. You show it a bottle of CLP about every three, four months, it's fine. And, but you'd be surprised at how much lint and everything builds up and they still run, they still cycle. 
you know, one other thing is, and like I said, a lot of it's preference. I, with my 43X, I put the Hogue slip-on grip, so I've got finger grooves. It fills the palm of the hand a little bit better. Uh, the shield, my nine millimeter was one of the first, one of the early gens. So that recoil spring was a lot heavier. So when it came to racking the slide, a little more work was required, but that did a lot to mitigate the recoil. Fair point, yeah. No, that's, that's good to know. So yeah, guys, with both these pistols as well, I mean, in this case, they're both running the uh, Vortex uh, CCW Defender optics, so that keeps it nice and fair when we shoot them. Uh, we are gonna put them to the test a little bit. Just uh, a little disclaimer, I am not very good at shooting little guns in the first place. And uh, even though I like Glocks, I am uh, not very good at shooting them because I blame the grip angle, nothing with my skill. <laughs> but um, yeah, so what we're gonna do today, just remember these uh, optics are set up for different people. So don't worry too much whether you're gonna hit the bullseye. Let's look at kind of what groups we can get out of it. You wanna shoot them some and see where we yeah, get? Yeah, let's see what we can run them through the paces here. Sounds good, stay tuned guys. All right, folks, so there you have it. We shot the crap out of both of them. Uh, final thoughts. Personally, uh, I quite I like this the shield, and this is just me personal preference because I have trouble with uh, the Glock grip angle. Don't get me wrong, the Glock's a fantastic pistol, and I think it's a good choice, but personally, I shoot the shield better. Uh, don't shoot either of them very wonderfully. I mean, again, it's I need real estate for the gorilla hands, right? Uh, but yeah, so what did you think? Yeah, we're kind of the same thing. It's all going to come down to personal preference. You know, me, I've owned both currently. I have a 43X. I carry it, I run it. I have full confidence in it. But, you know, you can tell by the target. Admittedly, the shield, the, the grip angle, just the ergos of it, it's easier to run a little tighter group with. That trigger is way nicer. So it's a smoother reset for your follow-up shots. You know, it's 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 six one half does the other. Like I said, preference. I mean, I I like the shield. I would probably end up dragging home another one someday. No, I agree with you. You know, um, again, in the end of the day, they're both really really good pistols, and they're not going to let you down, right? Uh, I think for me personally, because I'm used to the uh, HK grip angle, the uh, the Sig grip angles and stuff, it's just. I can shoot the Glock, but it takes me a little bit more effort than it does on this shield. The shield feels more familiar to me. Right. Um, even though it still doesn't have a lot of space for real estate for the hands, so I have to work at shooting the smaller guns a little bit better. But I mean, you're kind of, you did really well with the Glock as well. So uh, yeah, it's, it's- And and for me, I've been running predominantly Glock for eight years, eight, nine years now. And, but the, like you said, the grip angle is different that beaver tail is different like we've talked about. You know, I mean, either, either one, ultimately for a, a lightweight, easily concealable 
firearm, you're not going to be pulling off 100 yard shots with it. You're not going to take, you're not typically going to go to and run a 500 round range day with it. You know, they're, they're designed and intended for probably inside of 10 to 15. And that's true. And both of them will get the job done immensely well. Uh, yeah, no, I agree with you completely. I mean, it's not going to be your competition pistol, is it? I do like the trigger on the Shield Plus a little bit more. Uh, again, the Glocks one isn't going to let you down, but I think I, I started becoming a little bit of a trigger snob with the SIG trigger and the HK trigger and shooting your staccato, of course, that just makes anybody a, a trigger snob. Take right. note, don't shoot one or you're going to have to start saving up. Um, but yeah, I think uh, good choice either way. Can't go wrong with either of them. So which one's right for you guys? Let us know down in the comments which one's uh, which one you'd prefer or which one you carry on a day-to-day -to -day basis. And if you were at any in any way entertained or learned something new today, uh, leave us a comment down below. It helps everybody out in the 2A community. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, guys, you all stay safe. And we'll see you next time.